Welcome back to this Let's Play of Neverwinter Nights 2, the original official campaign. Last time we uh, made our way through High Cliff and up to the High Cliff Castle, trying to look for uh, some way to stop these lizardmen. We ran into one lizardman at the door who was looking for reinforcements, so we uh, dealt with him. Master of the Fifth Tower, you grace me with your presence. Yes, I am certain. The raising of the army and the attacks on Fort Locke. How do they proceed? There have been complications, my lord. One of our disciples near Fort Locke has been slain. It shall not affect our plans at the fort, nor the raising of our troops. Our power runs strong here. The war our master pursued here so long ago still fuels our magic. Our enemies shall not prevail. As long as Neverwinter is occupied, then you have served me, and through me, your master. We are all in the service of the King of Shadows, Lord Garius. Sometimes we forget he is all around us, and there are no ranks and hierarchies before him. Think what you will, as long as you carry out my orders. Ah, it seems someone else has come to pay their respects, priest. Perhaps the same ones who slaughtered the priest at Fort Locke. I suggest you deal with them before you share the same fate. Well, I guess we're being used for our political expediency now. Uh, yeah, here's uh, another one of these shadow priests. And uh, maybe he's harder than the first one. I wouldn't uh, doubt it. These are zombie adventurers. We were looking for some uh, adventurers that uh, owed Moses some back pay. I wonder if uh, these are them. Oops, I think he used a potion after he died. I don't know exactly how that works, but it didn't help him. Come on, follow me. Keep up. There must be some more enemies around here because oh yeah, there it is, Moses Backpay. Because the uh my uh, party members are looking for trouble. That uh, Amulet of Vitality I just picked up is actually a fairly useful item. It gives you plus two con. Um, I'm not going to use yeah. it on myself, uh, but I will give it to, I guess, yes. Eleni. Um, just gives extra hit points, more or less. Yeah. Come on, follow I don't, me. Keep I guess up. we're going to have to figure out what they're charging after because they're not going to be playing nice until we figure it out. All right. Get on him! Let's get attack! Him. Attack! Attack! And heck, let's summon the dog again. Take that! Time for a little fight. I suppose I should have put my armor on, but I guess I still had one spell to cast, so and. We'll have By the shadows of Eleni Mary. cast Vigor, and, uh... There must be another enemy down here. Just continue our little rampage through the dungeon. I don't know, we kind of, we beat the boss, um, I don't know exactly what we're doing back here, but hey, you know, maybe there's somebody, some loot back here or something. Though I should probably make a point of healing up a little bit. All right. What the heck? Oh. Well, at least Great Cleave is serving as well. There were apparently some more enemies up here, and this is the one. These are the ones that they were uh, going after. Oh, interesting. Skeletal corpse. 
It's just a random dead body. That's an item. Hmm. Alright, well, we're gonna have to talk to Kelgar about some obedience lessons, because he uh, <laughs> just went off and nearly got himself killed just trying to take on the entire dungeon by himself. And only I'm allowed to do that. Give it up! You ain't got a Like chance. I am right now. But I guess for me, it's a little different in that I automatically take five less damage for everything, since they don't have any magical weapons yet. Um, and uh, let's just say it takes more than just a couple lucky hits. Though Kelgar does have more hit points. And probably a slightly better AC with that full play. What is Nishka fighting? Oh, hey, there's some lizard folk back here. Hmm. They must have been captured or something. Anyway, that's all the stuff that's here. We have a, an address for the lizard folk base, so we'll probably have to go there next, but I'll clean everything up and meet you back outside. I said I'd meet you back out on the map, and I lied, actually. Uh, it turns out that lizard man that uh, Nishka was fighting has friends, and they're up behind the door up here. But uh, apparently there's one more door that I missed, and it just didn't... Uh, no, I'm sorry, not that direction. Um, this direction, up here. Uh, but uh, I hit him, and I, apparently I was very close to a level. So we've got our levels, and I'll gain my own yes. levels off-screen, but I'm going to gain my party member levels on-screen. Um, there's not all that much to do as far as these guys go. I'm actually, now that she has maximum alchemy, I'm going to have her start putting points into heal. Uh, that's Eleni, of course. Follow me. Have Kelgar put a little more into craft armor. I don't know that he's going to get there anytime How soon. Can I help? But... And again, I'm just going to have uh, Nishka go for recommended. Now, since she's level 6, I'm going to give her two weapon fighting. Uh, she just gained a feat. So that should make her at least a little bit more effective than she was before you. as just melee. Um, How can I'll I give help? her a dagger plus one and this uh, rapier, and then I'll just yeah. have to cast um, want? magic weapon on her. And, well, instead of reducing her. Although, you know, it is kind of fun to have her running around as a as a shrimp. It's not particularly important. So, uh, reduce person does give you a penalty of three to melee damage, so you can't use it for just a free dexterity bonus. I guess if you wanted it for the stats. But I'll gain my own level off screen and be right back. Since that was the first level of Eldritch Knight, I don't actually get any um, additional spellcasting benefits. I, I gain a, a caster level something. because I still have practice spellcaster running. Um, but, you know, it's not. that's not going to make a big difference. We'll just cast some basic buffs and then head up to the door up here. And um, I suppose I could pick the lock, but I'm just going to use the big sword as a lock pick. Oh, hey. I have, do I have to pick this lock? It may be that since I killed Slon, it doesn't let me uh, go into this room. No, it just you have to pick the lock. I guess they assume that you must have Nishka with you at this point, but there's just a couple extra lizard men in here. And I think they were supposed to be trapped in here, so I don't know how they were getting out of the door. But anyway, just one slight side area. Now I will really meet you back out on the world map. Well, outside. There isn't a whole lot of interesting loot in that area. The only nice item are these Nasher nim Nimble Boots, which, uh, they're part of a set, and uh, this is a set that showed up in uh, Hordes of the Underdark, which was the final expansion for the original game. And, uh, well, they're not, uh, I don't think there's actually all, any other part of the set that's available here. I don't think you can actually complete it. So it's just their plus three dex boots, which are, you know, fairly nice item. Um, I'm just giving them to my main character just for a little bit of dodge AC. This dark steel war mace is, uh, well, I don't know that it's really all that much better than a greatsword, but dark steel weapons by default always have this damage bonus of one electrical. 
It's not big, but it's slightly better average damage than the Greatsword, worse critical threat range, but I kind of like the whole, you know, half-orc barbarian wizard with big club, you know, just kind of in character. There's a couple quest items, like this Moses back pay, um, and there's a Wand of Paralyzation, which is might be the way that I learn Hold Monster. I use the wand on a scroll to make a scroll to describe the scroll. Yeah, it's a little convoluted, but it gets the job done. Um, and, you know, the rest of it is just the usual junk. There's a uh, Shadow Priest journal here, which is just ranting and raving about, oh, I'm going to take over the world and all that good stuff. When we killed Slon earlier, we got the... Uh, the uh, mailing address for this lizard folk cave. So I guess we're going to have to go visit that, and uh, then we'll start that ne the next episode there, and uh, we're going to deal with this lizard folk problem once and for all. See you then!